What kind of stupid special ingredient is this? Ellen, you have to wake up your idea, you know not? Oh my god, Kajin, are you not sweating? You go back and sweat. You know cooking is never easy because you know you can sweat so much. My name is Ellen and I am the hands of chef. Okay. If not, I'm gonna fire all of them. Ah! Today, I am challenging three of my colleagues to cook from home. They have already chosen what they'll be cooking, but there's a twist. In each challenge, I'll be giving them a common food that they must incorporate in their dishes. Here are the rules. They have 30 minutes to cook, they cannot change the dishes, and they only have one lifeline. If they require any help, they can text me any question and I will help answer their questions. Hello everyone! Hello! Okay, today Terry is not with us, but we have a very special guest, which is our boss, William! <laughs> Hi William! Hello everyone, hello! Thanks for having me. Are you ready me. to cook? I'm ready to cook out a storm! Oh. <laughs> so, for this week's episode, I've asked everybody to choose one recipe from our Share Food Recipe Bank. And let's find out what you, each of you are going to be cooking. So let's start with you, Kaijin. What are you cooking today? I'm going to be cooking the Thai basil pork fusilli. Yeah. Oh, the pay one for two one, right? Yep, the right. simple yet great dish. Uh, I'm going to make steamed egg with prawns and mushroom from Chef Food Recipe. Yeah, steamed egg. Steamed egg is not bad. It's always good, nice and classic. So having run Chef Food for four years, one of the recipe that I'm most impressed with is the uh, the uh, Hakka rice wine chicken. Okay, so as we know, from last week's challenge, Kaijin is the winner. And that means you get to pick somebody to be covered for this round. <laughs> Who do you want to choose? Not me, okay. I'm new. <laughs> Judging <laughs> from my competitors today, William and Hui Xing, I think the stronger one would be William. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm I'm more inclined to suffer. Just join today. William, William. Actually, hey, no, but you're just... the boss and you've been running this for four oh, years. Shit. I think you've got a very big advantage. So. Just right, follow the knife, just okay, already. Fair enough. Your disadvantage for this child is that the only tool you can use is a butter knife. How to cut ginger? <laughs> Kai Jin, when you, you stir your chicken, me, right? Jin. Oh, no. <laughs> when you stir your chicken, you also use the butter knife, right? So I cannot use the spatula also? Yeah. Wow, mampos. Everything that one knife. Let's find out what the secret ingredient is. I hope all of you have this at home because this is a personal favourite ingredient of mine. And it is... Anchen meat. <laughs> Anchen meat ah? Oh shit! Anchen meat. So make sure you use this ingredient ah. Alright, are you guys ready? Ready. Yeah. Okay. And your 30 minutes start now. Oh my god, this Kai Jun said that I cannot use knife. Shit man, I need to get a butter knife. Where's the luncheon meat? Oh my god! Oh yeah, yeah I found it, I found it. Wu chan rou, yes, that's the one. Where is the can opener? Is this the one? Yes. Good to go. So let's start chopping the garlic. What you want to have is some really choppy choppy and small cloves, alright? Then mince it. This luncheon meat, I have no idea how to use but okay, let me crack my egg first then I think how to use later. Oh my god, a bit clumsy today. Mix it. Pepper, stir, stir. Add luncheon meat into my egg, then steam it. Okay, let me ask them. Ellie, I need knife knife. I'm gonna text you soon. This luncheon meat, right, doesn't go with my dish. Lah. So what what kind of what kind of stupid special ingredient is this? Ellie, you have to wake up your idea, you know or not? I see William complaining about my luncheon meat. Wake up my idea? I think you, you need to wake up your idea and be creative. <laughs> oh my bring it up. Shit. Oh. I'm never supposed to do now. I'm gonna cut into uh, slices. Look at this pile of mess that I have. <laughs> so I've gotten my lifeline from Eileen and she, what she told me is to you know, dice it into cubes and put it with, together with the eggs and steam it. So let's do it! Oh, okay. So let's move on to the steamer. No way! Hey, you can remove la! Actually butter not, not so bad la! After all, so good, you see? Are you having a hard time? No, it's uh, it's easy. It's yeah, easy. Everything is off already. So nice. Okay, 
Hey, eh, William, you can cut leh. Of course lah. <laughs> the problem is not cutting. The problem is cooking later. Food. It's flying all over the place. Okay, so you can see that I'm done with the ginger. I'm done with the, the meat here. Okay. So I'm gonna move on to cooking the, the, the ginger now. And I, I don't have enough time. Let, better start doing. I'm going to start chopping my French beans. Add my pasta in. Just add the salt to my water to flavor. And I'm just gonna cover it up and let it cook for seven minutes while I continue cutting my vegetables. Go cook my steam egg soon. <laughs> then after that, we can steam for around maybe like 10 minutes. Steam the ginger first. Shit, am I supposed to put oil first? Am I? I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna be super careful here because how am I supposed to stir fry the chicken with a butter knife? You know, when it comes to Chinese cooking, I really think Gordon Ramsay should learn from me. Apparently the grocery store near me has ran out of chilies and basil. Instead I just use I'm I'm trying to use a leek and for the spiciness I'm just gonna add a lot of pepper to it and we'll see how it goes. Cut some small pieces for flavoring. I think we can stir fry now. Let's go. I'll first add fish sauce. It doesn't hurt to go extra for flavor, you know. Flavor town, baby. Soy sauce, duck soy, oyster sauce. That's one. And two. Oh crap. Okay, now that all the sauces are in, I'm gonna start mixing it. Oh, and I forgot the sugar. Let me add it. Sugar. Free sugar from hotel. Just take it. I'm gonna stir it. You know, I purposely choose this dish because uh, it's. Uh, I can cook this in, in under 30 minutes. We have done over 300 over recipes on our Chef Food channel. If you want to learn more about Chef Food, please you know, head, on, head over to chefwood.sg you know, and you know, see our other recipes. Okay, enough talking. Inside. Some garlic inside. You can always, you know, put more of what you like. Can I cut it open? No, shit, I didn't. Be smarter, guys. Use the scissors. That is disgusting. Time check, guys. 15 minutes, half time now. 15 minutes? More than enough, lah. Don't worry. You know what? Being the boss of this company, right, I'm very sure right, I will win this competition. If not, I'm gonna fire all of them. Ah! Really? So sorry, bro. Okay. Now, everything is in. How much are these guys? Okay, let's check the recipe. Come on, come on, come on. I have the recipe here. Let's see what I need. Okay, I need two cups of Hakka rice wine, 300 ml of broth, oil. I need oil. I don't have oil. Salt, pepper, soy sauce. Shit. I didn't, I didn't put oil though. Olive oil. Sweet over there. So I'm just gonna add my garlic in. Ooh. One seasoning sauce in now. Let's go. Here that's all. Let's go. So yeah, it's gonna stir fry a bit and then we can add in our prawns. It smells nice so far. I put as much chili as light, light also. So you can always do that. Our oyster sauce was one tablespoon. I almost left out the mushroom. Oh my god. Left okay. 10 minutes guys. 10 more minutes. Oh my god, 10 minutes. Okay. Broth. Oh. Good. I don't have enough time. I cannot remember the, the full measurement, so I'm just gonna agar the salt and pepper. Lah. Is it too much? I think I think it should be salty enough, right? Oh my god. I, I don't know whether they do it right or not. Okay, I'm gonna cover this up. That's an oversized cover. But whatever it works. Lah. Oh crap, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Okay, okay. Just a minute. Easy peasy. One, two, three. So I'm just gonna dump the whole pork in. Okay, 
and I'm gonna open the luncheon meat and dump it in as well. Mm. Corn flour water. So to like, you know, make it thicker. Okay, so in the meantime, I think my egg is about this cook today in Fukuoka meat. Each episode, I think I can improve a lot. 30 minutes include plate, plating. Should I, should I chop up some coriander? I think I should, I think I should. Let me see whether do I have it at home. That's my fridge! Okay. Oh! Beauty, beauty! Oh my god. Yeah, I need to cut it. Just... Look at that gravy. Oh my god, can you see it? Beauty. How am I going to pack this? Ugh. You can see luncheon meat. Egg. Perfect. Okay, so we are running out of time, so I'm actually cooking on high heat now. I'm gonna add some pasta water to the sauce, so that I mix my pasta in. Just gonna add some pepper to it, give it heat, a lot of pepper. And that seems about done. Okay, just now I, I did a taste test, uh, it was a little bit too salty. So, it's add some sugar, it should be fine now, so I'm gonna do an around taste test. Pretty good. Okay, good. Right. Okay, last touch. Huh? Just uh, a little bit of soy sauce. Just to see where, huh? It's so good. I have two eggs to cook for the plating of the dish. We're gonna start plating it now. My pasta into the bowl. Okay, then I'm gonna add my meat to the top. Last meat. My eggs. Oh crap. <laughs> I flopped the egg. Right. Yeah. And we're done. One minute left. I'm adding some pork in there. Alright, I'm done. Ooh, look at this. So beautiful. Alright, show me your dishes. This wow. I can't see but the light. So uh let's start with facing who started who ended the first. Uh, uh my dish is like just now I was saying, uh, so some way to trend means like you know the flavor, uh, all the you know, all the good stuff is inside here. Like got prawn, got mushroom, got egg, got lunch meat. Yeah. See this dish, right? It looks way better than your first dish, the one that we did in the last episode. It looks way better. One week improvement. Yes. <laughs> ah, that's why, guys, you should cook more. Okay, let's go to Kai Jin. Kai Jin, okay, your dish. Right. What I have here is Thai pork fusilli with egg. Wow. You can't That's see the fusilli, but it's down there. Yep. But let's say you're from here, just look at the zoom, right? This looks like Liro Fan. <laughs> yeah, Liro Fan. Liro Fan. I think, can you just turn around for us? Show us your face. Oh my oh. god, look at that. <laughs> it's wet. <laughs> this bowl of Thai basil pork fusilli is not your blood, but all your sweat and tears. Lots of sweat, <laughs> of course. It's like a workout and a half, you know. And at last but not least, William, let's see your dish. Wow. Ooh. 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 This is very traditional. Like, I oh, got my Amma Tia show serve me this. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> I'm your Akong. Okay. Akong. <laughs> so, so, this dish, uh, I think the, the, you know, because like Hakka rice wine, right? So, like, very mm. suitable for all ages lah. Maybe not so much mm. for, for, for two two like toddlers or this, but as for the, the luncheon meat, uh, I don't quite understand lah. But anyway, uh, I think it kind of like make the soup a bit uh, saltier. The Hakka rice wine cuts through the, the luncheon meat taste. So, I think that's why my soup was very salty just now. So now, I have to choose a winner. And... Um, you have to choose me, I'm the boss. <laughs> what if I don't choose you? <laughs> mm, what penalty you want? <laughs> let you choose oh, your, wow, wow, your, penalty, let you choose your consequence. Me, um, me, me. Okay, You're not going to choose the rule of fun, right? <laughs> okay, I will say first, first and foremost, right? Everybody, I think everybody did a very good job. Firstly, everybody finished before 30 minutes with like about a minute or two to spare. So very good job to everyone. I think everybody's presentation did also really well and you really did manage to use the luncheon meat in that. Good job. But uh, I think in terms of difficulty uh, and the quality that was produced at the end, William wins. Lah. Ooh, <laughs> like, it really show you a lot of challenges. But Okay, so that means William, for the next episode, you'll be coming back 
Or maybe you give a surprise appearance and you get to choose somebody to be stubborn this round. <laughs> okay, that's all for today. Bye. Go and have your lunch. Bye. Woo. Oh shit. Wait, wait. Bye. <laughs> Bye. That was a super close fight. Honestly, it was really hard picking a winner because I think everybody did such a good job. But when it came down to skill and effort, I think William did the most. Did I pick the right winner? Let me know down in the comments below who you think should have won. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up, like the video, and share it with your friends and family. Also, don't forget to like and follow Share Food Singapore for more awesome content like this. Until then, keep indoors, keep cooking, and keep safe. See you next week. Bye!